Hi everybody, welcome to our third episode of Heroes Forever. My name is Carol, today here we have with us... Hello, I'm Andrew. Hi, I'm Diora. And um, today guys, we are talking about a new hero. His name is Saint Mina. You guys know the story of Saint Mina, right? Yes. Yeah, you guys remember his picture? Whenever we see his picture, it comes up and it has a camel on his right and left, right? Yes. So we'll be talking about him today. So Saint Mina, guys, he was born in a city called Menouf. And when he was old enough, he went and became a soldier in the army. So Diora, what city was he born in? Menouf. Menouf, good job. And Andrew, what was his job? His, his job was to be in the military. Yeah, good job. So he was in the military. And just like all the other saints we've talked about so far, Saint Mina grew up in a Christian household. He was very close to God and he was so faithful to him. And when Saint Mina was in the military, he was also very obedient. He did everything he was ever asked and he was such a good soldier. Um, at that time, guys, there was a really bad emperor. His name was Diocletian. What was his name? Diocletian. Yeah, so Diocletian, he gave a terrible order. The order he gave was that Christians were no longer allowed to worship their God. Instead, they had to stop worshiping God, like they had to stop worshiping Christ, and they had to worship pagans, and like they had these statues that they were per worshiping, and they're called idols. Have you guys heard about those? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're like, um, like... They're like a giant bottle, and they look like something. And um, people, people who don't believe in God, they bow down and um, worship that kind of um, stone. Yeah, it's literally worshiping stones. Can you imagine that, Diora? Can you imagine worshiping a stone? No. No. Can stones do anything? Can they move? No. Can they talk? No. no. Are they like the savior of the world, just like our Jesus was? No. No, they're just stones, right? Mm -hmm. But this Diocletian, he worshiped these stones, they're pagans, right? And he ordered that the entire empire had to also worship them. And he said that whoever is a Christian, he will kill him. So Saint Mina, when he heard about this, he remembered a verse that he learned when he was little. The verse says, be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. What was the verse, guys? Be faithful <laughs> unto death and I will give you the crown of life. Good job. So when Saint Mira remembered this verse, he realized he needs to be faithful to God. And he just wanted to worship God in peace. He didn't want to be told who to worship and when to worship or anything like that. And he didn't want to have to like lie to everybody. So you know what he did? He decided he's going to leave everyone. And he went home, he picked up some books, some maybe change of clothes, and he went into the desert. And he decided he's going to live in a cave. Andrew, why did he decide he's going to the desert again? Because he wants to be alone by himself to pray with God and it alone. And after five years of living in the cave, he remembered the verse that he went to the desert for to begin with. The verse said, Be faithful unto death and I will give you the crown of life. So right now we will take a short break and after we come back from break, I will tell you how this verse changed St. Mina's decision. Welcome back, everybody. So if you remember, let's recap quickly what we learned. So Saint Mina was a soldier and Emperor Diocletian said that nobody can be a Christian or else they will die. So Saint Mina left the world and he went to live in a cave in the desert for five years so he can pray to God and be close to God and not have to worry about any consequences of the emperor. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. So. When Saint Mina went to the desert, there was one specific verse that drove him. Do you guys remember this verse? Diora, do you remember it? No? Andrew, do you remember it? Be faithful unto death and God will get and Jesus will crown you 
Good job. Of life. Yeah. He said, be faithful unto death. And that verse kept going on in St. Mina's mind. Be faithful unto death. Be faithful unto death. Do you guys remember where we mentioned death earlier in the story? Do you, mm -hmm. Diora, do you remember? Who said, if you worship Christ, you will die? The emperor. Yeah, Emperor Diocletian, right? Mm -hmm. He said, be faith. Uh, he said, if you um, are worshiping Christ, you will die. So when that verse kept going on in St. Mina's mind, he said, I have to be faithful unto death. What did that mean for St. Mina, Andrew? Um, that meant that if he, um, if he told the emperor that, um, he was believing in God, that he would die. Yeah, it meant that he would die. Do you think St. Mina was scared? No. No. So you guys know what he did? He decided he's going to tell the people that he's Christian. He's going to confess his faith despite the fear of dying. He wasn't afraid and he's going to risk his life because the verse said, be faithful unto, say it? Death. Death. So he ended up going to the governor in that city. And you guys are going to act out this part for me, okay? So Diora, you're going to be the governor and Andrew, you're going to be St. Mina, okay? So St. Mina went and told the governor that he's a Christian. So let's see how this conversation played out. Are you guys ready? and show me how, how that conversation went when St. Mina went to confess his faith, okay? Go ahead. Is what we heard about you true? Yes, I am Christian. Do you know what these words mean? Do you know what will happen to you? I know them very well. It means death, but I will do anything for the Lord Christ. Deny him immediately. No, Jesus is my God and Savior. Yeah. So as you guys saw, and as you guys just acted out, St. Mina refused to deny his faith, even though that meant he might die, but he was not scared. So the, emp the governor did exactly what he told him would happen. He took St. Mina and he murdered him, and St. Mina became a martyr in the church. Do you guys, like, what do you think about that? Now that, like, St. Mina was willing to die for his faith, what can we learn from that, Diora? That you should trust God and even if someone says you, he will kill you if you, if you pr pray and worship God, you should still worship God. Yeah, good job. What about you, Andrew? What did you learn from the story? You shall never be, you shall never be afraid of what someone's going to do for you because if, if someone tries to save their life, they will lose it. But whoever... Whoever loses their life in God's sake, they will, they will have a good life up in heaven. Yeah, good job, right? Nothing should scare us, guys. Our faith is the most important thing. Sometimes, guys, in the world, like when our friends come and talk to us, we might be shy and not want to say we're Christian or things like that. Or like our friends might be doing something that isn't very like Christian-like or isn't very godly. And we get ashamed or embarrassed to say, no, I won't do that. Or no, I'm going to go pray, right? But we have to be strong, guys. We should never be afraid to say we are Christian. It doesn't matter what the consequences are because we are earning our life in heaven, just like St. Mina did. And you guys know what's really cool? You know what they called St. Mina? They call him the wonder worker. Do you know why he's called that? I think it's because um, every time... So if someone is sick and they touch the body of Saint Mina, Mina, they would be immediately healed. Yeah, good job. His body, guys, it would perform so many miracles. And it was like wondrous. It, like if anybody was sick and they would go touch the body, they would be healed. If any, like anything you need, the body did it. And it was so holy. And like people were so amazed by it. They called him the wonder worker. And you guys know what else is really cool? Here's like another cool part. Remember how we said St. Mina has always a camel on his right and a camel on his mm -hmm. left? Yeah. In it the picture? Yeah, it's because um, there was a camel sitting beside um, St. Mina's cave. They tried 
they tried to like make him move, but he wouldn't. They try, they beat him up and threw sticks at him, but he wouldn't move. Until they finally realized that that the the cave was the place that uh, Saint Mina wanted to be buried, and that was an act of God. Yeah, good job. You know the story very well, Andrew. So as Andrew said, there was like the camel. And after Saint Mina died, the camel always stayed in the cave where Saint Mina used to live in the desert. Remember? How many years did we say he lived in the desert, Diora? Three. He lived there five years. Okay? So in those five years, he was always staying in this cave. And the camel went and it stayed right next to the cave. And the people were so confused. Why is this camel there? And whenever they tried to move it, it would not move. And they knew that this is where Saint Mina wanted to be buried. And this is our story, guys. I really like the story of Saint Mina because he can do amazing things. And we should learn because he's the wonder worker, we can ask him for anything, right? And he's able to do it through his intercessions, right? All right. Thank you guys for watching us for our third episode of Heroes Forever. We'll see you next week. Bye. 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 Bye.